everyone. Today we're talking about West Jordan, Utah. West Jordan is located in Salt Lake County and it's about 20 minutes from downtown. It's only 16 minutes from the airport because of its west location. You can drive straight to the airport. Today we are standing in Gardner Village, which is a super fun, quaint shopping area that you can come check out. So the population in West Jordan is 116,000 people. The median purchase price is $395 for a single family house. For Salt Lake County itself, it's $437,000. So it's under the median purchase price at $395. So you get a little more bang for your buck in West Jordan, which draws a lot of people. West Jordan itself was developed in the late or in the 70s to 80s and 90s. So you have a lot of houses and floor plans that were designed around that time. It is continu continuing to grow west, and the bigger it gets, we do it does have new construction, and there is a lot of options for new construction in West Jordan. You just have to go really far west. So West Jordan is a really big city. It goes from I-15 clear out to the Kennecott Copper Mine on the West Ochre Mountains. So it's long and skinny, so you can get newer 80s, 90s houses closer to I-15, and then you're gonna get new construction when you go west of the Mountain View Corridor. Gardner Village is made up of a lot of little shops, and every October they do the Witches Fest, where each little shop puts out their own version of a witch scarecrow for you to come check out and look at with your family while you're doing all your fun shopping. It is outdoor with indoor shopping, so it is great right now to get out, see the sights, see the decorations, and spend time with your family. So when it comes to shopping in West Jordan, you have tons of options. We right now are standing in Jordan Landing, which at the time it was built was actually the biggest multi-use commercial complex in the Western states. So it has everything. It has Target and Walmart, it has at home, tons of restaurants, and it even has a movie theater. So right now we're standing in front of Lucky's Iron Door Roadhouse, which has amazing burgers. Um, like we're talking the big thick onion ring on top, fantastic drip, huge mess. So don't go there on a first date, maybe go there with someone you don't mind looking like a fool in front of because it's just the dressings fall out of your hamburger. But there is tons to do in West Jordan, in Jordan Landing. It's very centrally located for West Jordan so you can get here from any of the areas that you're looking to live in the West Jordan area. Okay, so let's talk about houses in West Jordan. So West Jordan was developed around the late 70s, 80s, and 90s. So you have a lot of houses like these traditional houses, ramblers, tri-levels, split entries. Uh, but West Jordan is also really long and narrow, so there's a lot of development going on in West Jordan. So if you want to be closer to I-15, you're going to be looking at some of these older houses. Uh, we're about in the middle of West Jordan right now, so these are probably late 90s, early 2000s. And then they have new construction out by Mountain View Corridor. That's And there's a lot of new construction in West Jordan around this area. So lots of options when it comes to buying and living in West Jordan. So this neighborhood is a great example of the 70s houses. So during the 70s, Utah, and I don't know if they're elsewhere, we did what's called a split entry. So when you get to the front door, you have an option to go upstairs to the kitchen or downstairs to additional bedrooms. Uh, the floor plan itself is a great one bang for your buck because you get more square footage for the price because when it comes to resale, they typically have a limited buyer pool because of the stair option. Really, the buyer can only go up or down so they have to be able to do stairs, which limits you to typically younger people. Um, not saying that older people can't do stairs, but I think after a lifetime of doing stairs or after living in a split entry, people tend to want something with fewer stairs. Because say you are in the basement and you need to go upstairs to the kitchen, you have to run up a full flight of stairs. But if you're upstairs and you need to do laundry, you run down and floor plants themselves have trended towards all of your living areas on one level so your bedroom your laundry your kitchen your living space all on one level to kind of help keep you from doing a bunch of stairs and movements but this neighborhood is a great example of what west jordan typically looks like so one of the best things or maybe one of the best kept secrets about west jordan it is in the jordan school district so even though it is super close to salt lake jordan school district is a great school district highly rated great teachers great programs 
and because it's in the Jordan School District, you get the better school district, but the prices in West Jordan are really good. West Jordan itself is kind of in that transition phase where the older rundown moving out, houses are being renovated and updated because they've hit that life cycle. So you can get better bang for your buck in West Jordan. So it's part of the Jordan School District. I am Becca Summers with Seasons Real Estate. Thanks for joining us on this tour. If you are looking to move to Utah and wanna know more specific about different areas and neighborhoods, reach out. We help people all the time relocating from out of state, help them make the best financial decision when it comes to their investment and where they're gonna buy that's gonna give them the best ROI when it comes to buying your property here in Utah. Reach out however you feel comfortable, message us here, email us, uh, send us a text, Give us a phone call. Whatever you need to get a hold of us, reach out. We help people all the time.